Step one, attach your iPad to the home network. First, you're gonna press home button to log into the iPad. Press the settings button down on the bottom of the iPad. Select Wi-Fi from the menu on the left. Select the Wi-Fi network from your home in the menu. Type the Wi-Fi password exactly as it is written on the router or other Wi-Fi broadcasting device. Step two, distance learning website. In order to use the iPad for the first time, step one is gonna to be to press home button to open. Then click start here. When you get to the distance learning page, here's where you can find information about things like the quick cards to get your students logged into ClassLink. On the left hand side, you'll see a menu where you can find online learning help and information on technical support. There is a Q&A there where you can look at some frequently asked questions and find out their answers. When you're done, go ahead and close. The next step is to log into Google. We're gonna use Google Classroom as our way of logging into Google. This way, Google will attach itself to any of its apps, no matter where you go on the iPad. So for the first time, we're gonna click on Google Classroom. And as Google Classroom opens, it's gonna ask you what you wanna do with Google Classroom. And the first time you're gonna go ahead and click on Get Started. Once Get Started is clicked, it's gonna ask you for the student's username and password. Now, if this is the first time using the iPad, it is gonna ask you to say okay when it comes to using the keyboard. Now, the student's username is a nine digit number provided by your teacher. And then you also need to add the at palmdalesd.org at the end of that number. When you're finished with the email address, click next. Next is gonna be the student's password. The password is the student's birthday, which is gonna be two digit month, two digit day, four digit year. And then click next. Now, as Google is logging you into Google Classroom, it's gonna ask you whether or not you wanna have notifications you want to allow. This means you'll get notifications from the teacher whenever there are new assignments or messages. Next, we're gonna join the classroom and this will bring us into your student's teacher's classroom. Now that you have Google all set up, it is time to log into ClassLink where you will access all of the programs for your teacher. All right, to log in, we're gonna hit the home button and then we're gonna open up the app ClassLink. Go ahead and tap ClassLink and it's gonna go ahead and open with this sign in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click and turn on Remember Me. This way your student won't have to use their username and password every single time. Username is a student's nine digit student ID number that you'll receive from your teacher. Go ahead and type that in at the top. And then the password is gonna be the student's birth date, two digit month, two digit day, four digit year. And then hit sign in. Once signed in, you have access to all the apps that your student needs, including page one, which you'll see Benchmark Universe, among others, and page two, where you'll find Zern, among other things. And now you're signed into ClassLink. One of the things that the students may need to do is take a picture of their work and turn it in to Google Classroom. Let's take a look. On the iPad, sometimes you'll see an alert much like this. The teacher is posted in Google Classroom. Let's take a look. We're gonna open up Google Classroom. And once we get logged in, we're gonna tap on the class that we belong to. Now I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna click on classwork down on the bottom, and that will open up all the classwork I need to do for this class. I'm gonna select that assignment. And now what I need to do is click the arrow down at the bottom, and that'll bring the assignment up where I can add an attachment. Use the camera. 
Make sure you say OK to access the camera. Put the assignment in view and click the picture button. And then I'm going to use the photo. As the photo is uploading, we know that we're attaching the photo to this assignment so it's ready to go. Now that it's there, you can see that it's attached to the work. We're going to click the Turn In button and confirm the assignment. And then down at the bottom, it says Assignment Turned In. A final note, if at any time you or your student forgets their Google username or password, contact your teacher or call or email your school site help desk.